everyone, it's Miss Ha, and I'm in my temporary dark space science lab. I have some equipment here with me today that I'm going to be communicating some of my work on. It's my whiteboard, but oh, I've been smelling this mint. It's delicious. They're the leaves of a plant, an herb mint. Maybe you've seen it somewhere in a community garden or you've had it on food before, but I've been smelling it and I've really been thinking about my air passageways. Well, we've been doing a lot of breathing and a lot of meditation, and we've been really using our respiratory system. And right now we're learning all about systems. Last week we learned about the digestive system. We learned about what happens when we eat. And I heard about the way that you communicated the three structures and functions that you wanted to do about the digestive system. So today we're gonna to learn about the respiratory system. Can you say respiratory system? And if you're one of my younger friends, you wanna clap it out too, you can. Respiratory system. Whoa, that's really long. And that includes some really important organs that I'm gonna draw for you and label, just like it's my science notebook. So remember when we're recording and communicating through words and pictures, we want to be as clear as possible. And I'm not perfect, I might make mistakes, so I've got my eraser here, just like you might need. Sometimes we don't get it right on the first time. Well. Told you I was using my air passageways. It was making me think about my respiratory system. So you might recognize this torso of the human body. This is just a model representing it right now. You know, this sounds a little weird with your drawings. Anyway, one of the things that I'm really noticing, in my nose and my mouth, is the air that's going in my air passageways. Air is going in here. Air is going in there. And air is also going in here. Can you identify this structure? Oh yeah, that's your mouth. You use your mouth for a lot of things too. They're one of our air passageways. The same way our nostrils are, we've got two of those. It's really important to try breathing through your nostrils all the time actually, inhaling and exhaling. And we've got our mouth. And those are actually connected through a structure called the trachea. And that's also known as your windpipe. And you have these organs that you can feel on your body, even if you just put your hands on your chest. We've done this so many times with breathing, right? Can you locate your lungs on your body? Maybe the front of your lungs, even the back of your lungs. Remember our rib cage protects our lungs. When you inhale, yeah, you can feel them expand, right? And then exhale. Our, our lungs, are one, our most important breathing organ. So I'm gonna record that label, breathing and organ. You're gonna see this word organ in the brain pop video that we're gonna watch. An organ is a special body part that has a special job, just like your lungs. And I wanna hear about what you'd like to communicate about the respiratory system. We've been exploring it in breathing and meditation. We've talked about it a lot in the Dark Space Science Lab. You could spend some time with yourself doing some breathing, noticing what you feel. I notice the air coming through my air passageways, my nostrils. I can feel it filling up my lungs. I can feel that connected to my heart. So many of you communicate that. So many of you also communicate the relationship between your heart rate and the breathing. But after this, you're going to watch a brain pop video with Annie and Moby. And they're going to teach you all about lungs and the respiratory system. And I want you to communicate three structures and functions of the respiratory system. 
in a way that you'd like to. It could be an audio recording. You've been doing question and answer style with your family members and that's been wonderful. Could be a video recording. Some of you have been using amazing images from the internet and labeling them and describing them yourselves. Could be a science notebook entry. So if you want to record on a piece of scrap paper or on a piece of lined paper and take a photograph of it, just like we used to do in the Dark Space Science Lab, you could do that too. So I'm going to talk to you quickly just about two words before we go. And you've heard me say them again and again. One is structures and then structures are just parts. So when I ask you about what are three structures of the respiratory system, I want to know what are three parts of the respiratory system. The other thing you see me communicate about is function. Can you say function? So structures are parts and function is the behavior or what it does. You're gonna hear me use these words again and again, structures and functions. When we're talking about our different systems, we'll be learning more about our other systems like our nervous system, our circulatory system, our immune system. So look out for those. And thanks for watching my video. I hope you have a great time with Annie and Moby and I can't wait to hear about you communicate about the respiratory system.